When you see Nigerians in different parts of the world, they are some of the most industrious people that I know. When you see Zimbabweans with 90% unemployment, when you see Eritreans, when you see all the Sudanese or the Malians or the Gambians going to Europe and America, it is not because they like it. If there were conditions that were suitable in Africa, they would struggle at home. Yes. But when you hear a young person say he'd rather die at sea. at sea than to remain at home, that is not human. Mm. The human nature is self-preservation. When a human being says that, there must be something so grave at home, something so dehumanizing. That is what African leaders sometimes do not know. When I see them in limousines and in private jets, mm. with motorcades, I say, these men, not all of them, these men, who are they? Where did they come from? That they are so insensitive, that they go to countries and receive 21 gun salutes, and their people are dying at home. Mm. Who are they? Are their hearts made of stone? Do they have eyes and they do not see ears and they do not hear? Are their consciences so seared? I ask. And many Africans ask even in their silence. But we cannot keep quiet. We must continue to raise our voices, talking not with the arrogance that will inflame their anger, but with the firmness and the clarity that will, will in the fullness of time, open their eyes.